Hello everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Pajama Science! A scientist is someone who's curious, hardworking, asks questions, and sometimes wears pajamas. We're going to do some science experiments that you can do easily with your mom and dad in your kitchen while wearing your pajamas. In today's experiment, we're going to test what dissolves in water. But what does it mean when something dissolves in water? Imagine you pour some sugar into a cup of water. You can see two parts, the little pieces of the sugar and the clear water. What we're going to do next is stir the mixture and see if the pieces disappear. What happens when something dissolves into water is the water becomes transparent and we can no longer see the other material because the small pieces of the material have become even smaller and are invisible to the naked eye. Now let's see what materials we'll be experimenting with today. Here I have some white salt, some brown sugar, some black pepper, and some green oregano. And of course, I have some water from the tap. We're going to pour water into each cup and stir it with our spoon to see which materials dissolve in water. Have you made your predictions? Let's begin, pajama scientists. First, we have our salt. So we'll pour a little bit of water into the cup. Oh, I see some pieces on the bottom. And we'll mix it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can you see any pieces of salt in the water? It all dissolved into the water. So the small pieces of salt broke into even smaller pieces that we cannot see without a microscope. But where did the salt go? Is it in the air? Or can you taste it in the water? Now be careful. Before you taste anything in an experiment or in your kitchen, always ask your mom or dad or babysitter before you try it. Very salty. The salt is dissolved in the water. Ugh. Material number two, the brown sugar. Pour the water into the cup and mix it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Do you see any pieces of sugar? It's all gone. The water changed color, but there are no pieces of sugar. So, the sugar dissolves in water. Mmm, I bet this one tastes sweet. Material number three, the black pepper. We'll add some water to the cup. Okay. And stir for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's see. Can you see pepper in the cup? There's lots of pieces still. And the pieces did not break into smaller pieces. So pepper does not dissolve in water. And our last material, the green oregano. Pour the rest of the water and stir for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Hmm. Do you see pieces of oregano? They're all floating on the surface, but the pieces did not break into smaller pieces. Oregano does not dissolve in water. What conclusions can we make from this experiment? We have oregano and pepper that did not dissolve in water, and we have sugar and salt that did dissolve in water. What's similar about these two materials and these two materials? Oregano is from a plant, and pepper is a seed from a plant. Both of these materials are from plants, and they do not dissolve in water. Ah, and these ones, sugar and salt, are both minerals. They're small rocks that we can make or dig and find in the earth. And the minerals dissolve in water. So our final conclusion, salt and sugar dissolve in water. Pepper and oregano do not dissolve in water. What other materials can you test in your kitchen at home? Write us in the blog and tell us what else you can experiment with. Bye for now, pajama scientists!